Today I'm going to talk you through how to add some social media icons to your website or blog. You can see just here that I already have some set up on mine, but maybe you don't like the ones that came with your theme or you'd like to change them out to somewhere um, a different place. So I'll show you how to do that. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then underneath I'm going to add a link into my blog, which is the post that you'll need just here. And this is going to have the code that you'll need to select. So if you uh, go to the link, go to my web page and select and copy this code. Right click and copy. Then we need to set up a new widget. So I'm working on WordPress, but if you are working on Blogger, it's exactly the same. You just add a new widget into your sidebar. So let's think, where are we going to put them? Well, I don't want to disrupt the ones that I've already got just here. So let's say I'm going to, just for the purposes of the tutorial, put an extra line in here under the subscribe box. So here's my keep in touch. And I will need a new text or HTML widget. So let me drag that one over. and then just put it in the place that we want it right here. Okay, let's open that up, right click and paste the code. Then you'll need to select some actual icons themselves. If you go back to my blog post down at the bottom, I'm going to have some links which will send you over to pages which will use um, either the ones that I'm going to use in this tutorial or there'll be pages and pages of other ones to choose from. And I'm sure you'll find one of the sets there that you like. And then what we need to do is upload them to the internet. So we aren't going to put them as photos on the blog. They'll actually be hosted on the internet and they'll be called up whenever our web page is loaded. So I use Photo Bucket. So I'm going to upload them to a folder, which I've got here, Website Buttons and Logos. And that will take a few minutes. So I'll pause while I load them up and then we'll come back and resume the tutorial. Here are the six icons that I've chosen. I've just chosen the most popular ones. I'll select them and open and it's now going to copy those across into photo bucket. There we go. The icons that I want to use are now loaded. So let's go back to have a look at our widget and looking at the code just here. The first one that we're going to use is Facebook. So each of the sections is going to have three areas of capitals text. So this first one is Facebook page address here. So let's put in here, I'll delete the capitals and I'm going to put in face, oh, facebook.com slash mums make money. And that's my Facebook web address. So that goes just here. The next one where it says image source, direct link for Facebook icon here. And this is where we need to put the code for that little icon that we just uploaded to photo bucket. So here we are. This is the one for Facebook. If I click on this one and we need the link for it. So clicking this link icon down in the bottom will bring them all up. And we want the one called direct link. This will link us directly to this Facebook icon. So click here and copy. We'll go back to our widget and we'll replace all of that capitalized text. Direct link for Facebook icon here. We highlight that and instead paste that direct image link. The next part for our Facebook icon is text on hover. So if somebody went to the little bar of icons and they hovered their mouse over the top of that Facebook icon, what would we want it to say? So I'm going to take that out and put moms make, make money, oh dear, bad typing, money Facebook page. Okay, let's hit save. So now if we go over to our web page and refresh it, and we can see there is our Facebook icon. At the moment, all of the others aren't working because we've not added in all of the code that we need for those, but Facebook is. And when we hover the mouse over, you get the Moms Make Money Facebook page. And let's test it with a click. And up should come my new page. So the Facebook page comes up and we can see therefore that that link is working correctly. That's excellent. So let's go back to our widget and we have to do exactly the same again. This time we're going to use Twitter. So we need to put in our Twitter address. So let me type that one in there. OK, 
okay and then the next one is the direct link for the Twitter icon so go back to our photo bucket and there's Twitter just there let's take his link we're going to select the direct link that's copied back to the widget paste it and then we change the text on hover so let's put um, visit our Twitter feed and save let's refresh our page again and there we go we now have Twitter too but you can see that these icons are a bit on the large size if you compare them to mine up at the top here mine are much smaller so they're all going to fit in a line but we're not going to fit any more than three here so immediately we can tell that we're going to need to resize them so let's go back to our code and look at the one for Facebook so the first part is the the link the second part is the image source and where we have border equals zero let's type in there width equals I'll say 40 and then px for pixels and that's going to uh, well we'll just trial and error that until it gets to the point where everything is going to look good so let's do the same for Twitter let's put width equals 40 px and then save and then we'll go back and refresh our web page again and see how those look okay those are much smaller now it looks as though we should get six across there quite nicely so if we go back to our code again the next ones I have in there are exactly the same there's print uh, Pinterest Google Plus YouTube and of course you pick whichever icons and whichever areas that you want to link to so although I've called it Pinterest for example if you don't have a Pinterest account then instead put a, um, an icon for a LinkedIn account for example and put your LinkedIn address there and each one will work exactly the same the only one that's going to be any different will be the last one where I've put an email icon so if you would rather have somebody email you by pressing the icon rather than putting your email address in the sidebar then you can use this email link so here um, there's a mail to and it says your email address here so where it has the capital letters I'm going to delete those and put in my email address which is debbie at momsmakemoney.com and then the next one is the direct link for the email icon so that's where we need to put our photo bucket there's the one for email we'll select our direct link put that there and then the title is just click to email me but you could change that one if you wanted to so let's save again and take another look oh I didn't change the size so let's go back and make it smaller also width equals 40 px save again so the email icon is now there hover over click to email me so I'll now go back and complete these other three and then we'll have a look and see what it's like when it's finished okay so I've now completed all six and there we go there's our little widget bar here and it has all of the six of course if you wanted other ones you can you can change them out into different types of icons and the code you'll use will be exactly the same for each type of thing so do remember to look for the address for the blog post which is going to have the code that you need to download it will also have the link to these icons and they come in a lot of different colors as well and links to lots of other social icons that you can use if you don't like these ones thank you very much for watching